one of the best things that they can do from a medical point of view is to have what we call the blood access, which is the way that they're going to do dialysis, have the blood access put into place ahead of time. If a person chooses to do hemodialysis, a blood access needs to be created by a surgeon months in advance. There are three types of blood access for hemodialysis. The best option is an arteriovenous or AV fistula created from connecting an artery and vein, often in the arm. The needles go into this access point. A fistula can last for decades. If there is not an available vein, then the AV graft can be created by implanting a Gore-Tex tube into the arm. In urgent situations, a venous catheter can be used for temporary access. They do a mapping. They, call, they do what they call a, a, a vein mapping. Yeah. So they map both arms to see what will be the best place to put it. It's called arteriovenous because it just creates kind of this blood superhighway. And you can see how kind of thick it is right here. It's kind of close to the surface. So, you know, it's probably about a, the width of a dime almost. I mean, it, it's pretty, it's like a big, big straw you can think about. It's always important if you know you have kidney disease to start planning ahead to try to get the fistula in as soon as possible if you think you're going to do hemodialysis um, so that that has time to mature so that none of this takes place emergently. I had this put in in, a, in May and the first time I used it was in September. So once they create it, they'll talk about it, how it needs to mature, it needs to get bigger so you can put the needles in. If your fistula isn't working or you don't have a fistula, the likely alternative is that you'll have a catheter put in your neck which connects down into your heart. And there is good evidence that that is not the best treatment. A fistula is definitely the preferred access, blood access, but it needs to be created by a surgeon and then you have to keep good care of it. You need to keep it clean, and uh, if you can be the one to put in your needles, the fistula can last a long time. Washing your hands, one of the key things you can do to stay healthy while using dialysis.